My parents always had us just go to the range and hit golf balls and have fun with it. And I was never any good. I was actually kind of bad. And my dad was like, you can just stick to another sport or you can just keep playing. And eventually, I'm not really sure what happened. I just started playing every day. And I, there's always a moment in golf where you just catch on and you want to keep playing. And that happened to me. And I just kept practicing and got to be where I am now. It takes years and years of practice to become as proficient a golfer as Ellie Nichols has. Here at Forest Acres East is where she's cut her teeth and still works in the stack shop to this day. I practice like probably more than most people know. I'm always out at the golf course. I don't always get to hang out with friends every night, go out and do things that I want, but I think that in the long run of my life it'll definitely be worth it and it's been a lot of fun and a long career so far. Every golfer has that moment where they catch the bug. Ellie's moment was before she even got to high school. In I believe eighth grade, I played in summer tournaments and I shot 92, 92 in two straight tournaments and I was just getting beat and I came back with the third round after practicing for a few weeks with my dad and shot 75 and right at that moment I knew that I could stick with these girls who were playing in high school and college and that I had a chance. Throughout high school, Ellie's hard work began to pay off, with everything coming full circle after her offer from Oakland University came through. Um, the coach there, Russ Cunningham, he came out to some of my summer tournaments, high school tournaments, and watched and showed a lot of interest, which I kind of liked. That I knew he wanted me just as much as I wanted to be part of the Oakland University golf team. And so I went on visits there, and I really liked it, so I committed. Nichols has been a busy young woman this summer, between local tournaments and actually taking her first flight to an invitational tournament across the country. This chieftain in Golden Grizzly has not had your typical summer for an incoming college freshman. Um, I played in the Junior State Amateur, which is out here at this course at the West. Um, that was probably my biggest win I've had over the years. It was kind of like a two-day stroke play, and then you played um, four more days, three or four more days of match play, so one-on-one, -on -one, and that ended went all the way until Friday. So that was really intense, and I played with my friends in that one too, so it was back and forth. And then I played, just got back from Washington, um, played with top golfers from all over the world, different countries. Um, it was a really good experience, a lot of fun, and I learned a lot and what things I can improve on for future golf tournaments. Despite all the trophies and traveling, Ellie is not doing this for the accolades. The solidarity of the sport is what helps drive her to get better and constantly push herself. I don't know, I think it's relaxing. It's a fun sport. It's a lot different than other sports where if you're getting beat, it's like you, no one can stop you. If you're playing well, there's no really defense in golf, so it's kind of just like if you practice in your own game and you get as good as you want to be, there's no one that can stop you from being what you want to be. Ellie will be participating in the Michigan Women's Amateur at the University of Michigan Golf Course from August 11th to the 15th, before she heads off to begin her college career. Oakland's golf season opens up September 8th at Illinois State in Normal, Illinois. In Meridian Township, Chance McBride, Home TV.